never can make you happy, but he can certainly make you miserable. You gotta learn to be content and happy all by yourself. Hallelujah. If you never have a husband, if a man never puts a ring on it, buy your own ring. You gonna give your body to a man that won't even marry you? You just gonna bounce out of relationship after relationship and continue to give your body to a man that won't even marry you? You 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 you, you don't value yourself more than that. And hey, y'all got men that won't even go and buy a ring for you. So that's some of y'all saying you got these relationships with these men you've been sleeping with for all these years and he's still making all these excuses about why he's not engaged in your marriage and you had children for this man. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what to do. But you need to reassess that situation. Never lay your body down for a man that's not laid his life down for you. Because he finds any means to control you. So since you are physically the weaker vessel, he uses his aggression and his testosterone to back you into a corner of fear. Come on, somebody. But at some point, you got to become Tina Turner in the limousine. Never compromise your values and principles because you won't like yourself. What happens is, watch this, he's going he to hit his what happens is, you say, oh, the clock is ticking. Mm. Our biological clock is ticking. So then what happens is you buy into that, you buy into that stuff because uh, you also believe that you're less than a woman if you don't have a man. So because your clock is ticking, now you get to a place where you begin to compromise your values because what's the conversation between you and your girlfriends? Maybe your standards are too high. Check this out. As women many times, when it comes down to men, you kind of check your intellect and your discernment at the door. In other words, your brain tells you this ain't right. Your spirit tells you this ain't right. But something in your flesh. I was 15 years old when I, I was a preacher's son. I was 15 years old. And I got a young woman pregnant out of wedlock. I've been, I've been running this game a long time. God delivered me. God set me free. And me. This is my third marriage. I've been divorced twice. And both times I was divorced because of my own doing. My current wife is the only woman I've ever been faithful to. And I finally became one of There are many of you who are praying for Boaz, but your behavior is attracting Bozo. <laughs> Jesus is shining in this place tonight. about the man, but about the man. 